Hey, what's up guys? We're going to be talking about installing a TRD Pro Grill on my new 2020 Toyota 4Runner today. Alright guys, so if you know, the 2020 4Runner actually does not have any replica grills that are made for it right now. There's only one um, company that makes replica grills for the 2020 right now, and they're asking about $700 for it. So that's, pretty, uh, that's a pretty hefty price. You could also go with the OEM route, which is about $500. You'd have to buy this top balance as well as this um, garnish piece right here. And that's still pretty expen expensive. So the route I went is I bought the uh, 2019 replica grill. I did a couple modifications for it and I got it to fit perfectly. So I'll walk you through that today and talk to you guys about how I did that. All right guys, so the first step is to take off your top cover here. Um, I've already done that, so I've thrown that down here. Then what, you, what you're gonna wanna do is uh, unclip these tabs. So you have one here, one here, and then you have these two, these two down here. I'm just going to lighten this up for you guys so you guys can see it. You have one here, one here, one more here, and here. So once you've um, taken those tabs off, this top balance should come right off. So you're going to want it, you're going to reuse this piece. So be very careful. The first time I took it off, it did take some elbow grease. Um, keep in mind, there are some tabs here that are connected to your um, or OEM. Uh, uh, top grill as well too so you're gonna either uh, you can either press this in or you could just uh, yank this out and it should pop right off right so guys once you've taken your top balance piece off it's gonna come with the top grill here um, how to separate it is you're gonna want to undo the screws there's gonna be one here one here two here and the same thing on this other side so you're just gonna grab a screwdriver unscrew those and it, it, there's actually like a seal, like a rubber uh, seal here, um, which makes it kind of hard for you to take it off. So you're gonna have to, if you have a pry tool, that's what I used. Um, I grabbed a pry tool and I just pried it off um, and it comes right up, right apart. All right guys, so this is where the difference comes in when you're trying to install your uh, 2019 replica grill into your 2020 Forerunner. Um, in OEM, uh, when once you take this out, it is held in by these little screws, these small little screws here, right? Let me try to get this to focus for you guys. So it's held in by these little tiny screws, and when you and if you try to use these screws to reattach your new upper grill to the OEM one, it's not going to work, right? You're going to find that the length just does not work. So what you want, what you need is you're going to need a one and one quarter screw and a one and one half screw, right? So these, the the one and one quarter, go into these two pieces right here, dead center. Right, so you're, there's gonna be one here and one here, and then the one and one half is gonna hold in the corners right over here. One here and one here, and that's it. So that's the modification that you're gonna need. Um, all the other screws, these ones in the corner here, can be reused, all right? So these ones, you can still reuse these smaller ones. That's perfectly fine. The, the only ones you'll need to change are these two in the far top corners, and then these two right here in the dead center of the grill, right? All right, so the next thing I did was I took this grill and I sanded it down. So before I attached the letters, I sanded it down. Um, and then I also applied a just a, a quick layer of black paint on top of it. Um, there are a lot of reports that these replica grills, the, the paint doesn't hold up as well. So I went ahead and added a uh, black, uh, black paint on top of it. Gave it just a really nice um, sand down and then did two layers of this and it looks great. Okay guys, so the next thing that you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna cut this little clearance for the um, safety sense. Um, I did about half an inch on this side, half an inch about this side, grabbed a ruler and just cut it straight across with like a box cutter or if you have shears or something like that, that would work just fine. Um, so I did a test fit. This will technically fit right over your sensor. However, um, because of the spacing of it, um, it's gonna allow your your uh, it's not gonna allow your grill to sit flush. So it's gonna bump right next to the sensor here, and then it's gonna create a little bit of a space, and you won't be able to mount your uh, your grill as flush um, to the car as, as what it's intended to do. So what I did is, like I said, I cut out this one like half an inch here, half an inch here, grab a ruler, 
just cut it right across. That allowed me to bypass the sensor here. Okay guys, so two caveats to this installation that you're gonna run into. One is this hole, once you've installed this bracket to your new uh, top grill here, is not gonna line up. So you can see that it's a little bit off, not by much, but um, if, if you've installed the screws to hold this bracket down, then uh, this hole should be fine. Next, you're gonna see that once you put your plastic cover on, that this will not lay super flush. I haven't had an issue with this affecting the hood or anything like that. It's just a little ways off. Um, you could probably trim this piece if you really wanted to, but this won't lay flat either. So you're gonna have two little, two little issues. Like I said, if you can see the bracket doesn't line up exactly straight here. So those are the two issues that you're gonna run across, but for me, I can live with it. All right guys, so that's it. Just a super quick video on how I installed my replica grill onto my 2020. I know this wasn't a step-by-step -step, um, instructional video. There's a lot of those already on YouTube. So if you you know wanna figure out how to take your valence off and stuff like that and install it, there's plenty of those videos. This video was really meant to show you exactly the modifications that I took to make this fit on my vehicle. So um, like I said, it's super easy. Probably takes you about an extra hour to, to do these quick little mods here. So um, if you wanna save some money and don't wanna spend $700, $500 on the OEM or the um, other replica grill for the 2020, just do these quick simple mods and it will work just fine. So thanks guys, see you in another video.